Bedlam at the Bob. Indiana State sweep of Iowa in last weekend's NCAA regional created chaos at Bob Warren Field and sent Terre Haute into full celebration mode. It also sent cash registers spinning in the city's emerging downtown. A first real chance to showcase hotels, restaurants, and a convention center, all part of the city's bid to become a regional destination. This type of positive event touches so many different people than maybe the casino or the convention center or other things that are happening in town that we can tout and be positive and feel good about. This has even a further reach to some other people that are like, you know, Terre Haute really is a cool place. Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Last weekend, a big weekend for Indiana State uh, University Sycamore baseball team winning an NCAA regional and for Terre Haute where dollars poured in and a community came together. But as the Sycamores advance to the Super Regional to play TCU, it won't be in Terre Haute, but rather Fort Worth in what some view as an unforced error, costing the city a golden opportunity. All that. I just, I, I guess, looking back and reflecting now, it would have been good to know that there was an opportunity to have a, a community discussion. We could have supported ISU in, in, in a way to ensure that this happened. I didn't really find out about the deadlines until yesterday that had already expired. Terre Haute Mayor Duke Bennett talking with our partners at WTWO in Terre Haute, uh, expressing uh, uh, frustration at the decision uh, to not host this weekend's uh, regional tournament. Joining me now with more, pleased to be joined by Vigo County Convention and Visitors Bureau Executive Director of Tourism, David Patterson, who joins me from his office in Terre Haute. David, thanks for joining us. I um, want to talk about the positive nature of these past couple of weeks in Terre Haute, but first, Terre Haute was to have hosted this super, super regional this weekend, uh, a commitment to host uh, the Special Olympics, which in fact, everyone I think would agree, need to do that, have done it for many, many years. But Mayor Bennett and many others say, you could have done both. What your reaction? Was this uh, an unforced error? Absolutely. Uh, that, that's a great baseball analogy. It, it was a poor decision made solely by ISU I firmly believe had they reached out to my office, the Convention and Visitors Bureau, the mayor, the commissioners, the chamber, we could have certainly put together a, a, an excellent tournament. Uh, I'm extremely disappointed with this decision. Uh, you know, this community comes together all the time. We run multiple events, uh, you know, yeah. all the time. We've, we've had 16 national championships in cross country. Uh, there are typically other festivals and events going on at the same time. It was as simple as they didn't ask. And I, I, through my 29 years in this role, I've always found this community to step up when needed be. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the impact. Uh, missed opportunity for this weekend. Let's hope the Sycamores bring home a victory uh, uh, from down in Texas, uh, to be sure, in the Super Regional. Uh, but talk about these last couple of weeks. Uh, you had a big firefighters convention, the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament two weeks ago. Last weekend, the NCAA Tournament stands were packed. Restaurants, uh, bars, uh, uh, very active. What was the vibe like in Terre Haute? You know, actually, it was incredible, Gary. I I haven't felt that vibe. That This is as close as we've come to 1979 basketball in my lifetime. Uh, you know, this would have been the, the grandest event we would have hosted in sports. And, and, you know, beyond a national championship in cross country. But the fact that that our team was involved yeah. and a contender was huge. Yeah. Uh, you know, in terms of dollars, beyond losing the home field advantage, we probably lost somewhere between a half million and three quarters of a million dollars of economic impact. Mm -hmm. Those two previous weeks you had alluded to with the Missouri Valley Conference, the firefighters, and then the NSA Regional, you know, that was probably just short of a couple million dollars that that meant to our community. Yeah. And and so, you know, the key to this business is is doing something all the time yeah and no logical progression from one to the other but all are important yeah hey david I want to ask you do you feel i've talked to somebody and i get a sense that this is maybe Terre Haute's time you know i've had some challenging economic times but been a lot of investment downtown some new hotels a couple of on uh, new hotels on the books parking garage obviously the convention center there's a casino going up beginning to get these events do you sense the, that this is the time for that kind of that tipping point I do. I, I really believe that the next few years and all, all of the investment and, and things that are happening here are going to dictate the next 50 years for this community. So I, I think we're at a very important time 
uh, for our community to to make the most of what we have available and and see where we go from there. Well, David, you mentioned 1979. I was there as a student, so I remember that very well. That was a, that was an exciting exciting time to be sure. Uh, I felt a sense of pride as an ISU grad uh, watching on TV last weekend, and let's hope they do it uh, uh, this weekend and beyond. And good luck going forward, too. We'll follow your story. We want to report on uh, this new uh, business and economic development momentum going on in Terre Haute and the Wabash Valley, so we'll be in touch. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me.